first of all, let's talk about the Open Innovation Lounge. So when you say Open Innovation Lounge, this actually conjures up images of you know sit, people sitting in comfy chairs and drinking coffee with really nice cars all around, walking around. Is 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 that kind of like the the that, that kind the of visual? Is, yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it, at least at least that's sort of the 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 idea is is not necessarily sit around cars, but sit around innovation, <laughs> like mm -hmm. uh, being surrounded by innovation. So basically, what the Open Innovation Lounge is is kind of um, the best way to think about it is kind of like a mini Hyundai CES, right? Mm -hmm. The idea is the um, this this uh, it's, it's basically an exhibition. This exhibition is hosted by our product. Uh, our, our product division, which uh, which is uh, which they are located in our headquarter building in Seoul, South Korea. Um, mm -hmm. uh, as you can imagine from from the tie from their title, their their focus is on the product. In this case, the the car itself, right? Um, the the idea is to bring technologies into Hyundai cars, Hyundai, Kia, or Genesis cars that enhances the experience of the customers. Right. So uh, as you can imagine, the, the various technologies that, that they look at that they're interested in include uh, new ways of interacting with the vehicle, new ways mm -hmm. of um, new ways of delivering cool customer experience uh, within the vehicle. Right. Mm -hmm. And so for them, um, for them, their focus is very much on these vehicle interior applications, because um, mm -hmm. these are the things that the customers generally interact with the most. Um, this is our. This is the third year in which we are in, w in which we are working on this uh, 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 on this exhibition. Um, mm -hmm. Generally, we we select um, four or five companies to participate every year to show their technology at the exhibition. Generally, these uh, generally these technology are showcased is showcased inside a vehicle. And mm -hmm. we and the idea is that we want this demonstration to mainly to, to to demonstrate what the technology is capable of doing right it's mm -hmm. it, we're not we're not here to demonstrate something that that is like a final version of what it's going to look like on a car right but the idea is to show what it what it can look like and and uh like i said uh like i said earlier um hyundai is very strategic in terms of working with these uh with external partners and mm -hmm. so uh, one of the things that we need to establish is this uh, internal strategic alignment, right? And mm -hmm. so the product division, the reason why they host this exhibition every year is because um, they find uh, they find that uh, oftentimes the best way to secure the strategic alignment is to invite a group of uh, VIPs to attend the exhibition, uh, mm -hmm. tour them around the exhibition and show them all the various technologies. Uh, like for example, the past uh, the past two years in which we hosted, um, all three all, all three company CEOs showed up at the at the so the CEO of Hyundai, the CEO of Kia, yeah. and the CEO of Genesis showed up, and yeah. they brought and they brought their um, and they brought their entourage of uh, senior VPs, executive VPs to to attend as well. Right. We we often find that the the best way to secure the the move the move forward if we want to try yeah. to get these technologies into a car is you know if we get a very high level executive point to a technology say hey I want this right it makes uh -huh. the uh, it makes the rest of the process uh, much easier um, and so for for us at the credit office we um, we support um, our product division on this exhibition. Um, mm -hmm. The idea is that we select four or five companies, um, and we, uh, and because we try to, uh, we we don't try to overkill things in terms of in terms of developing the demonstration because we mainly just want to show what it can do. Uh, mm -hmm. We generally we so we do re, we do have a budget restriction in place, like you know so you know we're not going to do something super crazy <laughs> for like a million dollars, for example. Right? And so generally we, uh, we, we, we restrict the budget to around 50,000 um, because we find that 50,000 usually is, um, is a, is a, is a good enough budget to allow the external company that we're working with to develop a really cool demo that shows what it can do, mm -hmm. but not be so over the top that, okay, this is exactly what it's going to look, look in the final version, right? Because mm -hmm. for us, as you can imagine, Getting a technology into a car, the final version, it takes a while mm -hmm. to get there, All right? Yeah. And so we we usually we try to secure this uh, this this initial um, uh, proof of concept through a 
relatively modest size budget, right? Uh, mm -hmm. We don't want to we don't want to overspend, but we also don't want to underspend, right? Um, yeah. So um, for companies that get selected for Open Innovation Lounge, do they need to be physically present in South Korea for for, for um, the event? We, we we of course recommend uh, and uh, and and as we host the event, we do invite everybody to attend. But past mm -hmm. two years, as uh, uh, as we've been living through the COVID uh, COVID nineteen pandemic, that's not usually possible for everyone. And so we we definitely don't require everyone to attend. But if you can attend and want to attend, we highly recommend it because mm -hmm. it's a it's a great way. It's 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 just great way of of. of it's, it's just great exposure right <laughs> in a way to, uh, um, and and obviously you know as uh, as as you build the technology into into the demo who better to explain it than the guy the person who built it <laughs> right exactly. as opposed to having yeah. have, having a, have uh, as opposed to having us explain it. Um, but of course because of because of covid-19 that, that hasn't really been possible for a lot of mm -hmm. our participants uh, we're hoping this year maybe as the hopefully as Hopefully the pandemic eases up this year a little bit mm -hmm. and traveling becomes becomes easier. Um, mm -hmm. cause uh because because as as many of you probably know, South Korea is pretty strict uh when it comes to when it comes to um when it comes to COVID. So yes. um so so as a result, we try to we we try to play things relatively safely. Um mm -hmm. but but of course. Um, given the circumstances, uh, we we would we would love for everybody to mm -hmm. all, all of the participants to attend. It's just unfortunately we uh, that that had that that hasn't been the case the past two years. We're hoping yeah. this changes. Yeah, but you and me both, and I'm sure the audience <laughs> wants this wants this pandemic to end pretty soon. But I I do have on the screen now, like you know, some detail about you know the. Open Innovation Lounge. And all this information you can find on our website, by the way. So the deadline is March 18th, but the exhibition itself uh, is on November 2022. So between, let's say, between submitting, um, between submitting on March 18 and then having the selection by the end of March by your product team, what happens between March and November for, you know, uh, for the selected well startup? Uh, that's a that's a great question for us. Uh, between March and November first, we we have to we have to select the participants, right? Mm -hmm. um, and that usually will happen in the April May timeframe, and then mm -hmm. once the participant is selected, we have to uh, we have to build this demo, right? This is mm -hmm. where um, this is where the the budget that we set aside comes uh, comes yeah. into play, right? So, mm -hmm. um, and and as and as a lot of our audience can can imagine, there's a lot of internal processes that we have to go through at at Hyundai. Yeah. Um, to you know, get you guys onboarded as vendors, for example, and then as we work to build this build this demonstration um, in a Hyundai vehicle, um, or maybe it's outside the vehicle. It really, it really, it really, it really depends. And for us, yeah. uh, we we spend probably the majority of the summertime building building this demonstration, and then mm -hmm. uh, come come the fall, we uh, we first validate the the demonstration at our cradle office in Mountain View, and then everything gets shipped to Korea in, uh, in, in anticipation of the November OI Lounge exhibition. Mm -hmm. And then it kind of gets assembled there with, with the rest yes. of the other, yeah. yes. Okay, good. So for the technical areas, this is actually quite interesting because it's it's pretty general. And I think you and I talked about this before when we first looked at this list, right? But yeah. maybe you can talk about, let's say, I don't know. Let's talk about um, smart textiles, like the last well, one here. So well, if mean, you're, oh, if oh sorry, go ahead. No, no, I don't. No, go ahead. No, I was going to ask, like, if I were a startup and let's say I'm working in smart textiles, and then you know this is the description, what kind of startup would um, would you envision me to be? To be, you know, someone who might be good enough to be considered for the open innovation lounge like what trl should i have a prototype to be able to show you would i be able to you know i mean what is what 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 are the types of startups that usually make it to the you know to to the to the open innovation lounge mm, yeah that's a it's a, it's a very good question it's a very important question as well <laughs> for us <laughs> the generally companies that we work with are on the later stage in terms of um like 
if, if you look at a startup's traject, uh, trajectory, because, because we have such a strong strategic um, requirement internally, um, oftentimes to secure that strategic um, alignment, the the team that sponsors basically internally, they they have to be able to see something, right? They they have to be able to see it, visualize it, maybe touch it. Um, and so for smart textile, for example, um, if it, it, if you're a company that all you have is a bunch of PowerPoints of you know concepts and patents or something, mm -hmm. that's probably not good enough to 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 work with us because we do want to like 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 for this exhibition, for example, right? For 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 50k budget, we want to be able to build an a smart textile application into the car, right? So uh, a company like uh, like yours would probably need to have some kind of would would need to have engineering capabilities to mm -hmm. to help us build it uh, to 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 build this rough demo into uh, rough initial demo into the car. And um, if if your company that doesn't have that capability, then this is uh, uh, it's going to be very very difficult to work with us. Right, because we we want to show this to executives, right? We don't we don't want to show PowerPoints to executives. We want to show executives something that that they can touch. <laughs> and, yeah, yeah. Um, and I and I do want to add something in terms of all of these, uh, I guess these thirteen technical areas that you guys see on the screen here. Um, the I, I know I know these technical areas are already pretty broad by themselves. Um, um, but I do have to say that the product team that 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 is uh, hosting the event. What they're looking for is actually even broader. <laughs> These are just 13 of the broad topics that they sort of uh, envision, um, but mm -hmm. it includes other. Uh, um, um, but 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 they do consider other areas as well that that doesn't belong to any of these technical areas. Because like I said uh, earlier with them, they they very much focus on customer experience. Mm -hmm. So as long as you have a technology that that delivers a positive a net positive customer experience to the customer, they will, uh, the product team will definitely consider it.